Yeah. Want to control lights at the push of a button with a stream deck? Yeah, let's talk about that. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your computer technician. Real quick, if you're new around here and you like PC gaming, hardware, tech stuff, builds, tutorials, and things like that, make sure you click that subscribe button, click that like button, and uh, yeah, let's get to the video. So if you guys saw our most recent video, it was a room tour going over everything in this awesome new setup that I've built here in my home. And uh, there was a lot to take in because there was just so much going on. But one of the things that I'm most proud of in that whole setup is the push button control of the different lighting that I do for streaming and shooting or just normal room usage through the usage of smart plugs in concert with the stream deck. Now I have lights that are wall mounted and up on a ledge out of reach and in otherwise places that are somewhat inconvenient. So if you were to go around with a remote and trying to aim at things, to turn it on or flip switches and all that, it isn't always the most convenient thing to do when you have lighting set up that sort of way. I thought to myself, smart plugs, something that I can control like through my phone or through any other means that are if this then that compatible are the answer. Now, if you're wondering what if this then that is, it is a web platform that lets you control things. It's commonly used for automation of all sorts of things, but it's as simple as the name suggests. If this happens, do that. So if I push a button, do that. That being turn on, turn off, change colors, change brightness, anything like that. Today, we're gonna to be going over the setup of that process with the smart plug, the stream deck, and basic turning off and on of things as well as structuring them a little bit showing you guys how I did my setup as well okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is download the smart life app on your phone be that iOS or Android on my Android phone I'm going to pull up the Play Store and type in smart life and you'll see it there is a little blue icon with the house and the little Wi-Fi thing to the top right go ahead and download and then open that Okay, and then with it open, you're gonna to wanna to hit the plus sign, and then you see all these other things. What we're gonna be adding is socket Wi-Fi. So with that, with that ready, and you wanna make sure your wireless is on 2.4 gigahertz, not a five gigahertz AC one, or, or and just 2.4 regular. So then we're gonna take the tech and smart uh, plug, we're gonna plug it in. And with it plugged in like that, you can see the light on it is blinking. So now with the light blinking, that means it's ready for pairing. So back on the phone, we click socket Wi-Fi, confirm indicator rapid blink comes up on the screen, and then make sure you're on a 2.4 gigahertz network, as I said, confirm, and it will take maybe a minute or two to do its thing while it finds the connection and synchronizes the Wi-Fi information into the smart plug. And there we go, mine is showing up as Smart Socket 8. At this point, you can name it whatever you want. So uh, I'm gonna call it a test socket. Test socket. Save. Done. And now, with the screen that comes up on the phone, you could use your phone to turn the plug off and on. Now you see that the indicator is solid blue. Now it's off. Now it's on. And that's how you get it ready through Smart Life, and that's how you synchronize it. This is the first step. The next step will be going to the desktop with the Stream Deck software. And so here we are at the desktop. I'm going to assume that if you've been looking on how to control smart plugs with the Stream Deck, that you already have the Stream Deck software installed. So let me, let's go ahead and pull that up. You see, this will be the Stream Deck software. But first, you need to set up an If This Then That account. So. Let's go ahead and run through that real quick. So just go to if this then that website and uh, go ahead and sign up. So I'm going to, let's see what I'm gonna do. You always use a password to sign up or sign in. Let's just do standard email pa uh, sign in. Okay, and the account is created very quick. We're just gonna get to the main screen. This is where you wanna be. You're gonna click your little uh, icon here and you're gonna click create. So when you go to create, if this then that, you see hit the plus. 
we're going to look for something called webhooks. Webhooks. That's the one that we need to do. So integrate other services on if this and that with your DIY projects. You can create applets that work with any device or app that can make or receive a web request. If you'd like to build your own service and applets, check out the if this and that platform. Well, this is what it's for. I'm going to click connect and uh, there you go. Then we, if you get a web request, this is where we're going to start getting it ready over for the stream deck. If you receive a re web request, we're going to call it event name. We're just going to say uh, plug on. You can name this whatever you want, but you're going to use this name. So remember this name that you use. Create trigger. So there's still a next step. This plus sign. So if this web hook plug on, then that. So we're going to go to here. And remember that app that we downloaded on the phone called Smart Life? And guess what? There it is smart life we're going to connect the smart life account you created a smart life account when you downloaded it and installed it so i'm going to go ahead and log in to that real quick okay and with it logged in you just authorize this is the same credentials that you used when you created your smart life account on the phone and uh here's the actions now so we want a turn on action we're going to do that one and we're going to select test socket from the list create action and then with that set up, you get this uh, finalization one right here. We'll receive notifications when this applet runs. We're just gonna turn that one off because you'll know when the light turns on. And finish. Now, before we're done, we also have to make one to turn the plug off. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, create. If webhook, oops, that was WebEx Teams. If webhook, Receive a web request, event name, plug off, create trigger, smart life, turn off, test socket. And it's just that simple for simple on off control of a light. Again, we're going to click that off. We're going to click finish. Now we're going to go over to Stream Deck software. And uh, you have to download the if this then that plugin, but you can find that under more actions and you just search if, and it's already right there, IFTTT. So install. Now we can close this, uh, this menu and we're gonna go down here on the right, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and you see if this then that. We're gonna start one over here, just drag it over. When you're at this step, after dropping the if this then that icon onto it, you can make a title for it, which can be plug on and uh, maker key. Now, this is gonna be blank when you first look at it. Now, maker key is related to the web hooks in this case. So, you need to go back over to if this then that, go to my services, and under my services, we're gonna look at the web hooks. Webhooks, blah blah blah. Go to settings on the on the right, and uh, right here, this long key after the at the end of the URL. We're gonna highlight that. We're gonna copy it, and we're gonna bring uh, we're gonna bring uh, Stream Deck back up and paste the maker key there. We're gonna press Enter. We're gonna do the event name. Now the event name has to match specifically. So we're doing plug on, so that, in all caps. So the event name has to match plug on and now everything is filled out press enter after each line just to make sure it saves and your stream deck should have a button on it already so i'm going to go ahead and press the button and there you see the lights back there you guys saw it turn on right behind me right we're not completely done yet let's do another one for plug off so we're going to go over here plug off we're going to go plug off Maker key is already there. You don't need to re-enter that one. So we named the other one plug off lowercase. So we're back here, plug off, enter. Now the Stream Deck has the button there displaying. So let's go ahead and push that button. And there you go, off and on right there. Now, if you wanted to do multiple things with it, you can have them all in buttons or you can have them in custom folders. It's really neat. Let's switch over to show you guys how I have all my smart plugs configured and boom we're now at the desktop with the uh full lighting setup configuration i have for all the different smart plugs that i used in here and if you're noticing it looks different here on the screen that's because now i'm recording using my streaming um my streaming setup so if you guys want to see this in action 
I stream every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific, so check it out. I have all, a lot more scenes that look like this. It's all very cool. Anyways, let's get to showing you guys the different way that I did the configurations of the smart plugs. Okay, so I have a smart plug up on a ledge up there. I have it on the light over there. I have it on the light back there. And I have different configurations for when I want to shoot. I have them on floodlights over there as well. And a floodlight back there that's already on RGBing behind me. So if I were to control each light individually, I made a folder for off and on. So we're going to see right here, door light. Actually, let's do side light. That would be that light back there. We're going to side light and you see plug to on, plug to off. So I can click them as well. Let's turn that one on. Um, oh, I guess you don't, I guess you test them on stream deck <laughs> just to be 100% sure. Plug to on. That light's gonna come on right now. See, there you go. And then plug to off, just like that. And so all the lights are set up that way. I have my overhead, that's uh, the one up on the ledge over there. You see that all the light will flow into the background right now with that one turned on. Oops, it was already on. Let's turn that one off. Uh, check that out. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's the uh, rear floodlight. That's the one that's RGBing in the back which is that one's super useful for streaming. You see now it's off. Yeah, it's way less cool in here now. Let's do the RGB back on for them style points. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, now the cool thing about this is with the stream deck having multi-action, you can trigger all sorts of various different things. So I have a profile for when I'm shooting videos. So I'll be seated differently in the room. So I need the light configuration to be different. And as you can see, if I'm shooting videos, I have plug one on and plug two to come on. That's that light. And then that's that light. And if I have a streaming setup, that's my RGB back run, my RGB toggle. That's the RGB strip light that I have. Floodlights are on. That's the floodlights on these sides that are, have different colors as well, much like the one behind me. I also have one for the behind me as well. I have a clock up there that lights up as well, all within the multi-actions. Um, and then I have one if I'm just chilling in the room within these multi-actions, which is just the clock and the RGB strip. But here's where it's really nice is that because you have so much off and on, you don't want to sit there going and pushing every button. One, two, three, off, off, off. Multi-actions allows you to do like all on. Let's say I want everything on in the room and I can click that right now. And this room is just going to light up. Multiple lights are going in. Well, actually, some of them. Ah, there you go. See? <laughs> so much light in the room or I want all off. If I'm done in the room, I'm calling it for the night. I'm clicking the all off button. Everything just shuts off. Yeah. <laughs> and so with that being said, let's uh, let's turn the RGB light on behind me as well. So there we go. Got to get them style points. Like I said, you can configure all your smart plugs however you like here in the Stream Deck app with the if this and that. Uh, integration and it's just so nice honestly in the new setup this has got to be my one of my most favorite features out of the whole thing so there we go real quick you might be wondering about the RGB strip if you bought an RGB strip that's if this then that compatible basically you add it the same way it's gonna have its own different app though I believe mine uses one called smart home magic hue or magic home one or the other. I believe I ended up going with Magic Hue. You add it the same way, you go through the same steps, and then you end up with what you see here. Off and on, that one, it does a toggle. So you don't need one for off, you don't need one for on. It just has the same button that is off and the same button that is on. No real need to mess with it too much. But fortunately, you have a little bit more control if, it's, if the RGB strip itself is one of these Wi-Fi controllable ones because the Smart Hue or the Magic Hue app lets you adjust things like brightness and colors again on the Stream Deck. And as you see, I have purple, red, green, blue, and rainbow. So the steps are basically exactly the same, but you just have to create an applet for each one of these and then add it the same way as shown. Let's get back up to the main camera. Ah, forgot to mention real quick how to do the multi-actions. Real quick to do a multi-action, you right click an empty square, do create multi-action, you title it. So let's just do a couple of them. Plugs, like, you know, some off. Yeah, let's do that, some off. So you have this blank thing and you can copy and paste the other ones into it essentially. So let's say some off, I want side light and backlight off. 
that will be my shooting lights that would be door light you just copy right click copy you go to sum off and then this blanks page paste then you go back to let's say side lightning plug to off copy sum off paste and that's it that's multi-action you're basically copying the other ones that you manually configured configured into a list of, and that list will execute one at a time so some off two lights should come off that one's off already and that one's next it does take a second because it is a web request it's going through the internet and there we go multi-actions there you have it everybody if this is something that you guys are going to be implementing into your own homes your own setups your own streaming setups or shooting setups or anything like that drop a comment down below and let me know how you guys implement this show me some pictures join our discord we can talk about it more there as well especially if you have any other questions about what to do with this i'm always happy to help in there if you like this video click that thumbs up button click that subscribe button we always got more and we'll definitely be seeing you every week every friday with our uh let's say updated release schedule for 2020. hopefully you guys found this useful as well i always try to make useful content every now and then in between the normal like build stuff and reviews and all that sort of stuff Again, if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Let's talk about it. Make sure you follow on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, join our Discord, all that stuff. Everything linked in the description below, especially the smart plugs as well. Um, maybe your stream deck as well. So all links is in the description below. Again, I do make sure to try to get those as accurate and updated as possible for the things that I talk about in the video. So really, really go down there and look at the links. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye. Have an awesome new studio without the fake plant. Hell yeah.